So you want to create an assignment for students. You want to plan and structure some kind of list of tasks or one central task and get students focused on that particular item for a while. What you're going to want to do is go into this hamburger in the upper left corner, click it, and then specifically you want to go down to Get Creative. And this is really kind of the only place where you can do this in PebblePad, so you need to make sure that you choose Get Creative and then scroll all the way down. Now, one of the things I want to point out about these boxes versus the circles. The boxes are what are called assets, and the circles that are hollow are what are called resources. Resources are typically sort of like templates, and they are plans or structures that you might pre-design uh, for students. Assets are kind of what has been produced from those templates. So really, assets are the kinds of things that you can load into a portfolio and so forth. Um, and uh, but but these resources or templates are the uh, the items that you are going to sort of design for students. So what you could do is now I'm going to put out a little bit say a few things about the difference between a workbook and a template. Workbooks are great for when you have an assignment with various sections, with several sections. So it's a workbook, and workbook will always contain worksheets. And worksheets are individual tasks. And um, let's see, should I do workbook or template first? And you know what, I'm going to do template first because it's a little bit simpler. A template is kind of like a standalone assignment. And so I'll, I'll go for create a template. And notice you can modify the banner here. This is uh, kind of what it will all look like. And uh, notice you can add content. Now this is going to be different from when we were creating a portfolio in the previous video. Now we're when we add content, look at all of the options that appear. So these are the popular options, right? So these might be the most obvious if you want to create some kind of assignment where there's multiple places where they input text or where they you could even create like a multiple choice item like a radio radio means there are several choice one one oops one choice two two and next choice now, so this is for the add radio button so a radio button basically is a selector oh label ah, label for Oh, this is another button. All right, next button. Okay, and so on and so forth. Okay, there is, and then you can label the radio. This is a radio question. Radio basically means there is going to be, it's like a multiple choice, right? And they, they have to choose one of them, uh, as opposed to, say, a, a checkbox where they could choose multiple. And they click all the apply and so forth. All right, anyway, play around with this and add whatever you want, and you'll see radio box, radio checkbox, and so forth. Draw down. So, this is just a list of options uh, option one, option two, etc. And uh, there's options. All right. All right, great. So, you'll see that. And okay, let me just maybe. So, yeah, again, these are the popular ones. You can uh, you date picker, or you can have some issues. Like, now notice there's also hints. You could add little clues, add anything you want, image, video, audio, and so forth, even an embedded hint, right? Horizontal line. You can stylize it however you wish. Ratings, you could have them choose things, right? Uh, Likert, or numeric stuff, tables, right? Everything is here. Pretty much anything you might want to add to an assignment that students complete. Here's a rubric table, uh, capabilities. Now here, um, this is going to be a, an interesting one here the evidence box. This will enable them to add an item to a e-portfolio. This would be really good for, say, PDFs that they might have created that they want to present to you and, uh, and, and show you what they have done, right? So, evidence. Okay, now, um, I can, I'll save this. Now, all right, if you have created a template, if you're creating a template and you go to save it, right, um, then, I'm going to click Save. It's going to ask you what kind of template it is. Now, let me just say, it doesn't really matter which one you choose, right? There's this drop-down menu, plan, experience, reflection. It's It could be, you know, just kind of really for if it makes more sense to call this an experience, or if, if this is a reflection paper, call it a reflection paper. If it has to do with talent, where you are basically kind of describing different kinds of skills you developed or something, or if you want to call it a worksheet, 
which again is one of those items that goes well inside a workbook or feedback and support. We call it whatever you want. I'm going to call this uh, feedback just for kicks. And then a title, obviously, uh, feedback, feedback, uh, template. All right, confirm. There we go, it's saving. All right, so now if you want to, oh yeah, you could try the template. Basically, this means that you're going to pretend you are a student. And uh, this is uh, student feedback, uh, sloppily spelled. And choice two, uh, here's the options that I made, right? This is just a add. Now add evidence. All right, so the here, I can add something that I've already created. I can add some text, right? So I can add an asset. So what are some assets? Here's a PDF that I added, right? So let's say do that. Okay, save. Okay, and uh, and there's the there's the evidence that I just uploaded. All right, so hopefully you get the idea. And then, uh, okay, back to template builder, right? In the upper left. All right, now I'm gonna exit without saving because I don't really need to save that particular uh, uh, template anyway, but here's my template and so I'm going to go back and uh, uh, Save all right, so that's the idea of a uh, of a template and then you can actually uh, Put that out on we'll show you how to put that out on pebble pad uh, later on uh, Through atlas to make it available for students um, in uh, another, another few videos Okay, so now let's say you want to create a group of uh, of assignments, say a group of worksheets. Well, you're still gonna um, you're gonna go down to a, another kind of template. Still, re still, you're gonna go to get creative, and you're gonna go all the way down to create a workbook, right? And again, a workbook is a group of worksheets. And notice the difference. You want to choose a new template page, probably, unless you've already started something. All right, now look at the resemblance when you see the screen. Look at the resemblance to the portfolio screen, right? So again, you've got the tabs and you have the ability to first convert this into a workbook and that will enable you to add more sheets, right? So add, uh, add a new type of page, right? So, okay, let's do that. Uh, new, let's do workbook. Yes, no, these are now worksheets, right? These these are little items under here. And remember how to, the way you, the way you rename them, you go to this little settings uh, button. And then here we go, a second sheet, etc. Confirm. Okay, so that's what that's the major difference between creating a new workbook and creating a new template. Workbooks are groups of sheets, and a template is kind of like a standalone. Say it could be a reflection paper or whatever you want to make. All right, but also notice the uh, here it's similar. It's this really the same as in a template. Uh, you can add content, and look, the options are all the same, right? So you can add uh, capabilities, evidence, rubric, and so forth. So in a nutshell, you're going to want to create a workbook if there's going to be multiple different kinds of sheets that you do that kind of go together. Let's say there are going to be five different reflection papers that you want students to, uh, to you're, you're going to set, for, set up for students that will all be part of, say, a little workbook, right? Uh, five reflections. You might want to create a workbook and then have each one of those sheets be a different kind of reflection assignment with whatever kinds of prompts you wish to add to that, right? But if you want to create an assignment that is sort of like a standalone item, then definitely go to create a template. Once again, I'll show you there again. Go to creative, scroll all the way down, either create a workbook or create a template. All right. I hope that was really helpful in terms of you getting acquainted with the idea of creating what will become assignments for students, uh, either as a template or a workbook containing worksheets. And uh, yeah, I hope this has been very helpful. And uh, keep enjoying PebblePad. Again, play around with it. You can't break it. Just uh, enjoy and, and dabble and, uh, and, and be creative. Thanks.